Oh, you don't fool me. Oh, not this again. You forget I know you all too well. And you're just like everyone else. I can't believe you would throw this in my face. You're getting a big head. I won't listen to it. And trust me I know a big head, when I see one. No. I'm not like you. I'm not. Yeah. That's a big head for sure. You can be so cruel. Looks like iClone's new character creator is going to be a lot of fun uh, and allow us to do some amazing things with the uh, new avatars. Uh, we'll be able to create our own look. And uh, one simple trick that a lot of you probably know, but I'll go ahead and show you, is the fact that you can oversize or undersize certain morph attributes of the new character creator avatars. So let's take a quick look and just see how that's done. Okay, here we are in uh, the new character creator. Now, this should work whether you have the Essential Bundle edition or not. Just the basic controls uh, should do everything you need to do. Uh, we're, of course, in the Morph mode, and uh, we're going to be in this uh, actor selection here. Now, the quick way, you got, of course, if you've got the Essential Bundle, you've got just, you know, hundreds of uh, potential Morph sliders to look at. A quick, down and dirty way to, to find the... Uh, morph slider you're looking for is just type in head and here's the head scale and of course just max it out uh, you might want to adjust the neck and just type neck and for now we're just going to play with the head that we want to oversize obviously the body we're going to uh, shrink down make it small and skinny like I did for my other characters but you can of course do that easily too but this is we're, let's just work with the head right now because we want to enlarge it as large as we can so uh, once we've got everything maxed out, uh, we then send that character back to iClone. And there we have that character. Now, obviously, not exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and modify that character, make sure he's selected. And then we will uh, go over here and click on the Edit Character in Creator, Character Creator send him back. So we're just basically going to be going back and forth, back and forth. And uh, what that does, as you'll see, let's jump over now. And I usually uh, don't save the project. I'll let it go ahead and uh, just refresh the avatar and character creator. And uh, if you'll notice, the neck slider reset to its default position. And once again, we can adjust it. And if we, of course, find the head, and there we go. And once again, the head scale is reset, and we can enlarge it. So basically, it's just a matter of going back and forth, back and forth, uh, at least at this point in time. I, there may be an easier way uh, at some point, but basically we're just going back and forth and uh, do the dance with Character Creator and uh, to keep enlarging the head as large as we want and any body part that we want to enlarge or keep shrinking. So uh, it's a, a fun process. It may be a little tedious in some respects, but it will allow you to really, really change the uh, avatars. And let's jump back. And once again, I won't save that. And watch the head scale slider here. Once it's loaded in, it should reset. And that works the same for any body part. So uh, hope that gives you an idea uh, on uh, how you can possibly uh, morph your characters even more. Give them certainly a more cartoonish appearance. And then of course you can do all the other changes with the uh, body maps. Add the clothing that you want and uh, just have a whole lot of fun with the new character creator. <laughs>